Hi students, I am Premix Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the Object Oriented System Development Lifecycle or simply OOSDLC. The software development process that consists of analysis, design, implementation, testing and refinement is to transform the user need into a software solution that satisfies those needs. Some people view the software development process as interesting but feel it has less importance in developing software. Ignoring the processes and plunge into the implementation and programming phases of software development is much like the builder who would bypass the architect. The object-oriented approach requires a more rigorous process to do things right. We have to spend more time on gathering requirements, developing a requirement model and an analysis model, then turning them into the design model. We should consult a prototype of some of the key system components shortly after the products are selected. It is used to understand how easy or difficult it will be to implement some of the features of the system. For this, first of all, we have to discuss the software development process. Software development can be viewed as a process. The development itself is a process of change, retirement, transformation or addition to the existing product. It is possible to replace one sub-process with a new one as long as the new sub-process has the same interface as the old one to allow it to fit into the process as a whole. The object-oriented approach provides us a set of rules for describing inheritance and specialization in a consistent way when a sub-process changes the behavior of its parent process. The process can be divided into small, interacting phases known as sub-processes. The sub-processes must be defined in such a way that they are clearly spelled out to allow each activity to be performed as independently of other sub-processes as possible. Each sub-process must have a description in terms of how it works, specification of the input required for the process, and specification of the output to be produced. The software development process can be viewed as a series of transformation where the output of one transformation became the input of subsequent transformation. Generally or basically, these transformations are divided into three stages. First transformation is the analysis, the transformation two is the design and transformation three is the implementation phase. Before the transformation one, we have to analyze and make a design about what the user is actually intended with this system and what the and what the user is expecting as output from the system. Based on these requirements, the first phase is the analysis phase where the problems are identified, the statements are taken and based on this problem and statement, we have to make an analysis report. Based on this analysis, the second transformation is starting. In the second transformation, based on the analysis and the requirement of the customer, a design of the project is made. This design describes what an existing system and what is a proposed system and what are the steps we have to take to process an input into an output. And based on this design, an implementation plan is developed and the details is given to the third transformation. In the third transformation, the actual program or software implementation is taking place where we have to find a system, a software, and based on the system and software, a final product is produced based on the customer requirement. Once again, if you are considering the transformation one, that is the analysis phase, this phase translates the user needs into system requirements and responsibilities. The way they use can provide insight into user requirements. In the transformation 2, that is the design phase, it begins with a problem statement and ends with a detailed design that can be transformed into operational system. This transformation includes the bulk of the software development activity, including definition of how to build the software, its development and its testing. 
it includes the design description and the program and the testing materials in the transformation 3 that is the implementation phase it refines the detailed design into the system development that will satisfy the user needs it represents embedding the software product within its operational environment the software development process is the waterfall approach which starts with deciding what is to be done or what is the problem next how to accomplish them thirdly which we do it and fourthly test the result to see it we have satisfied the user requirements and finally we use what we have done so simply a waterfall system consists of the following phases that is analysis design implementation testing and maintenance phase in the analysis phase we are verifying what we have to do in the design phase we are describing about how we can do it in the implementation phase we are doing that particular problem and in the testing phase we are ensuring the quality of that product and finally in the maintenance phase we are using that particular product and we are analyzing what are the defaults what are the defects and what are the future enhancements which should be made to that system to make it as a better performing system so my dear students in this lecture we have discussed the object oriented system development life cycle or oos dlc model so my dear students kindly go through this assignment question the assignment question is write in detail about oos dlc that is object oriented system development life cycle model so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we are discussing how we are building a high quality software so see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.